Main articles. Xenophobia and anti-droid sentiment. Can you stop thinking of yourself as a native of your home planet and begin thinking of yourself as an imperial first? An imperial only? Can you accept that protecting and serving the world you came from is best accomplished by strengthening the empire to which it belongs? The introductory speech at the Royal Imperial Academy on Coruscant, the transition from the Republic to the Empire was also marked by major changes in the new government's architectural aesthetic. While the democratic government favored sweeping lines in its architecture, Palpatine's authoritarian regime preferred bold and brutalist designs. This brutalist style first emerged before the foundation of the Empire during the Clone Wars, when the architect Orson Krennic transformed the municipal grounds on Coruscant into military command centers. A prime example of Krennic's work was the Republic Center for Military Operations. Grav Ball was a popular sport within the Galactic Empire, with many worlds hosting teams that occasionally competed with one another. Underground gladiatorial games existed within Imperial territories, the Outer Rim Carve-Up and Stormblade Bloodfest being some of the organized occurrences of the sport within the early years of the Empire. Humanocentric single-species domination was not coincidental, but intended under the high human cultural model. Imperial propaganda actively supported state-sponsored ethnocentric xenophobia and fear-mongering. To the Empire, aliens, were by and large unwelcome within its order with aliens being seen as different and strange. As such, the Empire treated non-human segments of its populations as serfs, slaves, or obstacles needing to be tamed, removed, or ignored. The Empire supported the idea that aliens were untrustworthy, unlike humans, and behind their veneer of innocence lurked a vicious monster. The Imperial propaganda machine was so effective in its message that even near-human species exhibited an inherent distrust towards non-human populations. Since the Empire looked down on aliens, it was rare for aliens to serve as imperial officers. Nevertheless, some non-humans were known to occupy lofty roles within the Empire, such as the Shagrian Masa Meda, who served as the Empire's Grand Vizier, the Imperial Grand Admiral Thrawn, and the Powan Grand Inquisitor, the leading figure in the Inquisitorius during the Age of the Empire. Still, Thrawn noticed that he faced adversity due to his non-human origins and the fact that he was not linked to a major political family. One of the main origins of the anti-alien belief belief was that during the Clone Wars most of the Separatist leaders were aliens from sectors far from the Core Worlds. That made the humans distrustful of the other species of the galaxy during the Imperial Era. In addition to state-sponsored discrimination against a predominantly non-human galaxy, the Empire discouraged the learning of alien languages and cultures such as authorities in an effort to destroy foreign cultures, and sought to impose high, imperial standards, for its citizens. The destructive nature of the Clone Wars and use of droid armies by the Separatist Alliance fostered and expounded anti-droid bigotry so well into the galactic psyche that it would endure well into the Imperial era. The Empire saw droids as servants and tools, to be discarded and thrown away when no longer useful. The Galactic Empire was not only xenophobic towards the alien species of the galaxy, but some Imperial officers displayed similar sentiment towards human groups whom they deemed to be of lesser social standing. Some human Imperial officers, especially those from the Core Worlds, displayed disrespect towards humans who hailed from regions like Wild Space and the Outer Rim, including citizens from Corellia and Lothal. The Empire also turned against the Mandalorians, who rejected Imperial leadership and thus were targeted for extermination. The clones of the planet Kamino also began to be discriminated against by the Empire after they were seen as relics of the Old Republic that were no longer useful and could be discarded, causing many ex-clone soldiers to become unemployed. 